Good day, eh? Happy New Year to you. Elton McFall here in downtown Montreal, Montreal, where I was born and raised. And if you think this street is busy now, you should see on a normal day. Today is a Sunday. It's the second day of the year, January 2022. And um, yeah, just a spur of the moment decision as I often do to do a walking video. I just dirty my sweatpants you with your car. And uh, I thought to myself, boy, you know, I don't remember ever making officially a, a walking video on this street, actually, in De La Montagne here. Which, of course, Montagne is French for mountain. Mountain, Montagne. There you go. And, of course, the Montreal skyline has ever changed so much. It's incredible in the last, just, I don't know, five, ten years. Five years. And uh, there are plenty of people out there waiting to buy these condominiums uh, even if uh, it's not for themselves just to uh, right sell them or rent them out and make money because that's how popular this city is it's become too popular this is really a beautiful display here eh? look at that right here gorgeous now i was actually going to do a walking video going south of rene levesque but look at all the crap going on here man you know and again this is all like condo land and i'm not really for this shit you know, like seriously, it doesn't turn me on at all. It's mostly condos down there, and you go, the more you go south downhill on De La Motang, the more, again, it's, it's Griffin Town, which I call condo land. I'm just not interested in that. It's all modern and kind of disturbing, I find, you know? And then, of course, you get to this part here. Well, this is still the, the, the historic part of downtown where lots of old buildings, you know, that are whatever, 100 years old or more or whatever, just still around, you know? So I figured, uh, even though I probably, I think I did a part of a walking video here, maybe last summer with Ben or something. Well, I'm in good shape, you know, why not uh, do it again? And if you by any chance you watch a lot of my videos, especially the walking videos, you've noticed I have yeah, in recent, uh, I don't know, month or months, I've done quite a few walking videos on the, down, around downtown. Why? Because on cloudy days like today or nighttime, it's just, it's well lit. There's a lot to look at, you know? Uh, it's again there's all different types of architectures it's just it's, you never know what kind of cars you're gonna see look at this antique over here you know how old do you think that building is and uh, I should mention too that this is a uh, so you know it's, what's mind-boggling is that they're still building condos and they're gonna build more condos actually uh, where I live which I find that even more disturbing uh, but that's gentrification for you. It was bound to happen. That's the way it is, man. You know, I don't give a shit. I tell it the way it is. You don't like it, go watch something else, man. I'll tell you right now, man. There's no sugar coating with me. I'm part Quebecois, part Irish, and uh, I speak the truths and only the truths. Friend of the working man? Absolutely. Friend of politicians? Meh. Anyway, uh, where was I going? Look at this. Look how distorted this looks. You know, given the opportunity, these condo developers will tear that all down. They'll just tear it to pieces and build another condo. And that's what I want to do, actually, with some of those churches. These, these, you know, these churches that are as old as some of these buildings, you know, 100 years, give or take. It's, it's such a shame. It's, it's part of history. It's part of our, our heritage, or as we say in French, a patrimoine. It should be, in my opinion, they should be bought by the city and, again, you know, uh, repurposed uh, for housing. Or whatever other reason, you know. Well, that sign actually looks new. Why is this parking lot even still here? How come they haven't fucking built a condo there like they did two blo a block away here where those condo towers are on uh, Drummond Street across the street from the fire station? Actually, the fire station is like right back there somewhere. I'm actually surprised that this isn't built up yet. Very. It's only a matter of time though. Why? Because... People don't work downtown as much as they used to, so what the hell do they need parking for, eh? Right? Yeah. And another reason why I thought it was a good time to do a walking video. The sky is kind of blue now. It's nothing like beautiful fresh fallen snow. With beautiful buildings, a few trees. I'll tell you something, unfortunately, man, I swear to God, we haven't had a sunny day since my birthday. That was, man, like, you know, seven days ago. No, sorry, nine days ago, excuse me. Incredible, look at this place. They're very high-end, they're very high-roller type places. Look at this here. Holiday schedule. Yeah.
Remember, I think I did part of a walking video here once for the Mercedes once, just like, I was just walking in a few alleyways, you know, just for the hell of it. Sometimes you'll see things, you know, like old ghost ads for like no parking and stuff and, you know. Anyway, I'm doing things different this time, aren't I? Not only because the, usually I, I, if I film this, if I filmed this street, it was like, you know, in the summertime or something like that or a beautiful day and it's not summertime it's not the most beautiful day and not only that usually i'm going south but this time this time i'm going up oh yeah another reason why i keep coming down here not just to do walking videos but also to try to get those emergency responses which are very very popular but so very few during the holiday season now so i'm actually looking for that to end today and uh yeah, and it's also because of the pericarditis. It's, you know, I'm, I'm like, what, 20 minutes away from my place, so from downtown. So, uh, it's very convenient. We're right here on the Rue Saint-Catherine, which is really changing, actually. And there's that Mustang with a V8 that I saw drive by me. And I thought to myself, buddy, what are you driving that in the winter? I rode in a rear-wheel drive Mustang once. It was a 2010. And uh, there was a lot more snow than this. And man, every time the guy would spe step on the gas, it would fishtail. There's no control. Even though it was a V6, you know? Even though it was a V6. So yeah, that hotel we passed, that Novotel Hotel, that gives you an idea that it is not a, a cheap, uh, a cheap uh, hotel to uh, stay at. And neither, I think, is the one coming up. I think it's... Uh, what is it called again? Jeez, oh, my memory is just, just shot, you know? What is it called again? Uh, I'm trying to remember before I see the sign. Ah, um, jeez, uh, I can't remember. There's two of them anyway here. You know? Oh yeah, there's the Ogilvy store, that's right. Yeah, that's what that is here. Famous, very old Ogilvy store. That's pretty cool, eh? That's kind of cool. Once filmed a nice old elevator in here once actually. Oh no, sorry, it's Holt Renfrew. Holt Renfrew Ogilvy. Okay, whatever. So yeah, I'm gonna film this, uh, I think, uh, probably all the way to the top over there. That's why I'm, t I'm walking slowly because I actually walked from my place to Papineau Metro and that was like, that's a half hour walk right there. So I'm just uh, taking her slow. There's something I never noticed before. Look at that. Uh, Look at this over here looking like a greenhouse. That's pretty cool for a, a high-rise building, probably built in, I don't know, 40s or something, judging by those windows, 30s. Same type of crappy rectangular windows that I have in my place. You know, kind of a charm. There you go. Hey, I got a friend who has one of those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, the Vogue, that's what, I couldn't remember the name of this hotel, the Vogue Hotel. Which reminds you of that hit by Madonna. <laughs> eh? Yeah, pretty quiet here today, pretty quiet. Actually, wait a minute, I gotta cross the street here and show you the facade, the facade of this place here behind me. It's quite, uh, quite special. So you can see there's like really no wind today. Look at that, check that out. Look how cool that is. Hang on a second, let me show you better here. Look at that. Isn't that something, eh? Yeah. And you can see where we are here on the map. Right there. And we're walking north here on Mountain Street. A lot of people, the Anglos, still call it Mount, Mountain Street, you know. Boy, there, look at this. Hey, it's, we're so much spoiled when it comes to snow removal in this city. Even plowing snow, they'll plow nothing practically. Like this truck coming up here. I mean, you know, that's, they, that's their job. They're, you know, what are you going to do? They're going to have them do nothing. It's got to be, you know, it's perfection, man. Yeah, speaking of what I said before about that parking lot, here's another one I'm actually surprised that hasn't been. How come, I guess it's because the city owns these and they're not letting these go uh, easily for to build condos. Maybe it's because it's, the, it's been gone a bit nutso for the condo dominiums uh, being built everywhere. 
What the hell is this? Oh, oh, no, I was wrong. It's going to be a condo. Ha! <laughs> and here we are at De Maisonneuve. And Maisonneuve means new house. So at the time, before all these buildings were built, all these skyscrapers, yeah, there were homes like that down. You can see down there. Of course, I've been in walking videos on there. I remember before. Interesting facade. And what do I smell there? It smells like mascara or some cheap perfume or some shit. Yeah. Actually, come to think of it, this is where this is where Ben's Deli used to be. Come to think of it, hey, you know what? I forgot to show myself. Here I am, dressed up for winter because it's about uh, I don't know minus eight, but it's tolerable because I'm well dressed and because of the fact that uh, uh, because of the fact there's not really any wind. It's always the goddamn wind that's a pain in the ass in the winter. Always, always, always. Could be it could be minus two. If there's wind, we feel like minus twelve, minus fifteen. Very annoying. Where the hell are you going? Okay. <laughs> uh, boy, I can't see. I can't say I've been on this part of De La Montagne many times. Though I have to say, not many times. What is that? Tacoma TR3. These T Toyota TR3s I found out not long ago that uh, my God, these things have an amazing resale value. Like it's crazy because it's a Toyota. It's it's, it's so well made. You know, I mean, everything else, Ford, Chevys, Dodges, they might be. You know, they might be good trucks, but they're not, I don't think they're excellent trucks as these. This is really like the highest quality possible for a light duty truck. It would seem that way anyway, so, you know. Yeah, 70% off. I'm sure everything around here is on sale, man. You know, they don't have the traffic of people they used to. Again, it's because of COVID. That's why, like, you know, like Amazon sales are through the roof, really, because of because of COVID. People, right, they don't want to go to stores. They're afraid. It's convenient. They'd rather pay a shipping charge, you know. That's where I come in as well. That's why selling online is a beautiful thing, you know. Look at the beautiful architecture still remaining here, though. Look at those beautiful rounded windows. Arched windows. Look at this, though. What's with all these... These windows are all covered up. We don't need windows. Why we have windows? It make it look like walls. Hmm? Check this out. I think I did a walking video on this part actually last year, maybe or the year before. I can't remember. I remember I started it up here from uh, from uh, Sherbrooke Street, which is the next cross street we're coming up to. Abe and Mary's. Hmm. 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 Ooh, that is an original name. Suit Supply. <laughs> right. Look, look, there's enough snow here for snow removal, you know? But is it going to happen? I don't think so. Look at this beautiful lamppost. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All that for a clothing store? Let me know. Okay. Yeah, it's the part after Sherbrooke I've never been up on this street. You know? Oh, the Ritz Carlton. Yes, the famous Ritz Carlton Historic Hotel. I bet you they have some beautiful, I bet you they have a nice, uh, or some nice uh, vintage freight elevators in there. But uh, by the way, that reminds me, if any of you uh, live in an old apartment building or you work in an old building and you know that the elevator or elevators there are vintage and I could get in there, and film that uh, discreetly, that would be awesome if you'd let me know. Man, look at this place, hey? Looks abandoned here. What's that all about? This is the building I think last time I was here with Ben, I thought it was a Ritz Carlton. It was the building on the right. I think. I don't know. What's that smell? Like these little tractors. Yeah, it seems to me that the old tractors with the that are like a tank, you know, with the tracks, seems to me like they're being phased out. I think I don't know. I could be wrong, but for the city of Montreal, I don't know about the borough. But... Rochelbuck. Look at this place across the street here. You think that place is cheap to live at? Ah! Look at that. They're plowing nothing. You know, like almost nothing anyway. Yeah, this is a humongous hotel, this Ritz-Carlton. 
Boy, it would be fun to stay there at night. <laughs> Man, I tell you, that would be something. As a matter of fact, I remember when my mom was working at a company back in the 90s, and I don't know, I think some clients or something they had offered for, for her and, you know, me and my brother, because my parents were divorced that but they had offered for her and me and my brother to stay in separate rooms at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel for, like, the weekend. That was really cool. Very expensive. We even got to eat at the Beaver Club, uh, Beaver Club restaurant. That was really something, man. You know? Really something. Yes. I like cars with colors. Yeah. Where's the sign anyway? Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. It's actually looking a little bit darker than I thought, actually. I might have to change the settings on this. Yeah, that's too bad. That's all right. Yeah, this is the part of the level one thing I've probably never been done before. Oh, well, we're going now. Maybe if I'm lucky, I could get the 144 bus at the top with another is a bus I haven't actually taken in eons. Alright, and this is really the hard part here. Maybe it looks darker because I got it on 100 ASA, I don't know. I probably should change it, but let's leave it the way it is, whatever. And that way, way, way in the background there, that's Mount Royal. And Mount Royal is really, uh, one of the things, just like, uh, it's like an icon, basically, to the city. That in Montreal also being known as a bilingual French and English city. But again, the mountain in the heart of the city, literally in the middle of the city, is what makes Montreal for what it is. That's unique, you know. And it's been argued that it's a, <clears throat> it's a uh, extinct volcano. I think it's possible. I would agree with that, you know. Oh, wow, look at this. I never noticed this before. Check that out. That looks like an old fire station, actually. Holy mackerel. It really looks, that really looks like an old fire station, but there's no s signs of anything that says it was a fire station. Oh, wow. That's cool. I'm mystified by that. I'm very intrigued by that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. Why not? There used to be a, a fire station in Westmount. I think we are in Westmount, which is the most expensive part of Montreal to live in. Look at that zoom, eh? Let's take a pause here and zoom in here. Oh man, I think that might be my thumbnail right there actually. Take a little breather here. I like the entrance to this building here. Yeah, as, I, as like I said before, as you can see here as well, this is not a, a poor part of town at all like where I live, eh? How much do you think one of these units goes for a month? It must be like 2,000 at least, at least, you know? Yeah, so I was, what I was gonna say before the battery cut out on me, I remember when my grandmother, before she uh, left her, uh, her apartment in the uh, Village Olympique there on Sherbrooke Street East, that was in like the last year she lived there was 2005. 2005, right? So that's over 16 years ago, 15 years ago. And uh, man, she paid like uh, 1,500 bucks a month. So how much do you think that is now, eh? Really? Oof. See, my eyesight is so poor that I, I'm, I, I, it's sort of, I'm not sort of like not sure where the street ends over here at that light. Uh, I'm gonna find out anyway. Sorry, did I, did I say the battery died? No, no, I, I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to say. No, the, bat, the, the camera, when it gets cold, if I'm filming continuously without stopping it, it'll, it'll cut out and stop recording at like 10, 13 minutes. But when it's summertime, it'll go for like 20 minutes easy, straight. So this is a great video that I'm proud to make, not only as a Montrealer, but especially for those of you who uh, not necessarily live around here, 
but especially for those of you who wish you could live here and you you're from Montreal and you lived you know in the area regardless of your income whatever uh, kudos to you I mean hey hello you know subscribe for more uh, more walking videos coming up and, and if you're not familiar with my channel well, you know, I mean, I'm like, as one of my YouTube uh, subscribers went through, he's like, I'm the, um, the ambassador of transportation in Canada. And it's true, not officially, because I film all facets of transport. The only things I don't really film are motorcycles. So, uh, but that's something I'd like to do more, especially for the vintage ones. But it's at times hard to tell, you know, what is the, uh, what's the really old stuff from the, like Harleys, for example. Jesus, the Harleys, they look almost exactly the same from, uh, the 50s models and 60s, you know, except for like the seat. So, <sighs> oh boy, these people are moving today. Oh, I guess so. It's second of July. Second of July. I wish it was July for crying out loud. For crying, for crying out loud. Second of uh, January. I gotta stop at a light here and take my glove off so I can get my phone out of my pocket. Because, uh, I don't know, Ben was talking about maybe coming up here. But I don't think he's gonna come up here because it's like 4 o'clock, I think. We're almost. Oh, there must be some beautiful vintage elevators in these places and I can't ever get into them. That's why I stopped filming elevators. And if any of you wonder about that, it's just really because the stuff I want to film, I can't because it's all in these private properties. You know, I'm not gonna be like this guy I'm subscribed to from Sweden who actually, like, literally is such a nut that he'll like wait, you know, at the door at rush hour because he knows there's more people going in and out <laughs> of a, a set building to get in there to film a vintage elevator. That's really sick. That's about as sick as me, like going to every car show I can possible and filming as many classic cars as I can. Oh, okay, man, I'm out of breath. Oh. Oh. Where the hell does this street end? It's a lot longer than I thought it was, that's for sure. Look at this beautiful antique here on the corner. My lordy. So, question is, is this Pine Avenue or is it, uh, no, that's not Pine, it's Dr. Penfield, right? Dr. Penfield. Well, that's about it for that. And uh, because, uh, yeah, this street ends right over there at uh, Pine Avenue. And I just checked a, a transit app that I have there to see when that 144 is coming. And it's coming in eight minutes, so that's perfect. So you see it ends right over there. So I want to, uh, I want to picture myself this beautiful, amazing home back here. I mean, look at that. Who knows when that was built, eh? I mean, really, 100, 115 years, 1885, I don't know. Anyway, but uh, thanks again for watching. Subscribe and I'm not gonna say I've noticed some of these guys, you know, they'll say like mash smash or mash that that like button That is fucking ridiculous. Give me a break man. This is one of the things I always say that's annoying about life today is people who Exaggerate the truth Look at this beautiful BMW turning the corner. Oh my god Woo.